What's happening everybody, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back to the Pursuit of Wealth for a product review video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the new Trust Beverages, which is a joint venture between Hexo and Molson Coors. It is going to be the following brand. So Bedfellows, Indie Pals, really looking forward to trying this one, hearing lots of really good reviews about it. Also the Bedfellows Hossmates, this one's a little bit lower on the THC side, but also really excited to try that one as well. And really looking forward to those uh, more hoppy and more profile type beers. And last but not least, the House of Terpenes Pinene, which so far my all time favorite has been the House of Terpenes Limonene. And I know a lot of people are in that same boat. So really excited to see if we can crown a new champion here today. But before we jump into today's video, make sure to smash like, subscribe to the channel. I just got back from Vegas and got to, got to Edmonton. So I did an order online. I got this off of Alberta MJ website and just arrived today. Ordered it yesterday, just arrived today. So really excited to dive into this one. So stick around and we'll jump into the product reviews in just a second. All right, welcome back everybody. We're gonna jump into the first product review, which is the Bedfellows Indie Pals. My personal favorite that I've been waiting to try. And like I said, I've been waiting for a more hoppy type of beer. And this one looked right up my alley. So really excited to try this one. And this is, like I said, higher on the THC side. So it's 10 milligrams of THC, two milligrams of CBD. And just take a look at the calories here. I'll also put up a picture so you can see it. But only 110 calories per bottle. It looks pretty cloudy in there, but I'm really, maybe I'll pour it into a glass so everybody can see. But really, like I said, really looking forward to trying this one. Hearing lots of good reviews online about it, saying it was a lot uh, more satisfying and more beer-like than, uh, whoa, look at the cloudiness on that one. Said it was a lot more satisfying than the regular Molo, but definitely looks like it's more of like an IPA with uh, some full body to it and looks like it's gonna have a pretty crazy taste profile, but just smelling it, kinda of got some fruity aromas to it, but it, it smells like a regular hoppy beer. But cheers to everybody at home. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's just like an IPA pretty much. Oh wow, that's super satisfying. I, I really enjoy that. I'd give that nine and a half out of 10 pretty Pretty astonishing how amazing that is to, and how similar it tastes to a regular beer. It also says that it has half a percent of alcohol in it as well. I don't know, this could be very much worthy of a 10 out of 10. This is absolutely fantastic. If you tried the Indie Pals at home, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are, but this is, uh, this is pretty amazing. Everybody know at home as well, you can order the XMG drops and these are the THC drops that you can add to any beverage. So I usually take a few drinks out of the, the beverage first before I try it because it will change the profile a little bit. So I only encourage you to put about maybe, you know, just a couple drops when you're first starting out and uh, increase it if you want up to five. But like I said, don't, uh, don't put too much in too quickly because it will change the taste profile a little bit and you won't be able to get the full experience of what the, uh, of what the product is like. So I just added five drops there, but these are only $37 on Alberta MJ website. And you can get it at Value Buds here locally in Edmonton or anywhere in Alberta for about $30, which is only about a dollar a month, which is crazy cheap. I don't even factor that into my budget and it'll last you about a month. And I'm a pretty hardcore, you know, avid user. So uh, the fact that it lasts me a month, it might last some people maybe even two or three months, but uh, I just put in five drops and it barely even made a dent in that bottle. And let's just give it a try here and see if it really changed the taste profile any. No, not really. So the, the good thing about this one is, is it's a pretty hoppy beer. So it masks the, the THC drops pretty well. The Varivel drops have a little bit more of a taste profile to them. They're more of a wellness product. So they have like ginseng and all that stuff in it. So a little bit more tight taste profile. The XMGs are pretty subtle and uh, they blend in really well. And like I said, it masks it really well with the Indie Pals because it is a little bit more of a thicker beer. So uh, really, really impressed. Absolutely nailed it. Trust Beverages. Um, Scott Cooper, the CEO of Trust, is now the CEO of Hexo. And I think a lot better days are ahead, but this is, uh, this is a pretty phenomenal product. I can't wait for you guys to all try this at home. All right, so next on the list, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break here so that I can let my taste buds uh, kind of reset before I get into this next one because sometimes when you're doing these product reviews, 
you do them too quickly, kind of just all uh, blends together, if you know what I mean. Take a look at the content here. So the Haas Mates, 7.5 milligrams of THC, 2.5 milligrams of CBD, more dominant on THC as opposed to a one-to-one -one ratio like the House of Terpenes. And this one, 125 calories per bottle. And again, I'll put a picture up here for everybody to see, but cheers. Oh, wow. And that one's like a pale ale. I think that's what they're going for, but this one was more of a, a pale ale. I think the other one was an, an IPA style. I'll just put it into a glass so everybody can see it here at home as well. Oh, that one's really good. Definitely tastes good. I don't know, man. They're both pretty, they're both pretty equal. I got to add a couple drops to this one as, as well, just to, uh, just to see if I can taste anything. So again, I just added about five drops. So I just used about 10 drops out of this and you know, you wouldn't even notice that anything was missing out of it. It still feels like it's completely full. Okay. That one changed the taste a little bit with five or six drops, but again, it's not as thick as the other one. So it doesn't mask it as well, but it's still not bad. It's still, uh, still tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste bad. That's for sure. But I give this one, I probably give this one a nine out of 10 and I give that one a nine and a half. I do like the other beer a little bit better. I got more fruity notes in the Indie Pals than I did in the Haas Mates. So last but not least, moving on to the House of Terpenes and Pinene and Sparkling Tonic. And again, this is a one-to-one -one ratio, so five milligrams of THC, five milligrams of CBD. And this one is, and they're all made with natural sugars, but this one's a little bit more on the healthier side, so it's only 45 calories per bottle and only eight grams of sugar. And it's made with all natural cane sugar. So. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. So let's see if we can crown a new champion. Like I said, limonene has been my absolute favorite. Let's pour this into a glass as well so that everybody can get an idea. It's pretty much just uh, pretty transparent for the most part, similar to all the other House of Terpenes. Really looking forward to trying this one. The Valencine was really good as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, so that one's got like a an earthy pine, obviously a piney taste to it, almost like a lime. That one's gotta be right up there though with the limonene. I'd give that one a probably an eight out of 10. I, I wouldn't give it a, I wouldn't say it's in the same ballpark as the Bedfellows. Those are my new all time favorites. That's for sure. So if I had to rank them, I'd say Indie, Indie Pals, Bed, uh, Bedfellows, Indie Pals, and then the Hossmates and then the Pinene. And I still think I like the Limeene better than the Pinene, but Pinene really, really good. Nice to kind of switch it up, but well done. Trust Beverage Co. And I always love trying their new products. So, you know, regardless of what the haters say or what anybody says about Hexo and, and Trust Beverages and Molson Coors and their joint venture, every product that comes out, I can't wait to try it. They're all phenomenal. They all have, you know, that ability to make you want to go buy more, maybe even incorporate it into your weekly routine. I can't even count how many people have told me that they are from the United States and they can't wait to order these products. Even ask me to go as far as ship them some, right? Which it's illegal to do so to cross state lines. So people are desperate and I do not see that with any other company or licensed producer here in Canada. How many people do you know from the United States that are foaming at the mouth and dying to try say Canopy's products or Tilray products? I know of absolutely no one, but like I said, I, I must have came in contact with, thousand, with a thousand people that couldn't wait that said they couldn't wait to try Hexo and, and Trust Beverages products. So I truly do think that they have best in class products on the market. They made it into something special and can't wait to do another product review in the future and see what other drinks and innovations that they come up with next. So thank you so much for joining us on the Pursuit of Wealth for another product review video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of these drinks, which one was your favorite. I always love hearing from you. So make sure to smash like, subscribe to the channel on your way out and we'll see you on the next one.